I majored in sociology, so I'm always like, oh, Danny, you just love sociology. Just do one paper, just I one I did paper. one paper and I was like, this is the worst paper I could have ever <laughs> been in. All the little right wing people just tearing apart human rights concepts. Oh, and I was like, I can't. You don't get it. You don't get it. When me and Denny were first started dating, all of Denny's Instagram photos had this flower wall in the background. <laughs> and so when I finally like got to see the flower wall in person, it was kind of like a personality of its own. I was like, the flower wall. <laughs> so we're about to head off to uh, Waikato Uni for clubs day, which we're really excited for. It's the beginning of the uni year. Um, so this is a great opportunity to find potential new members for Greens on campus. We'll also be having Gowra's Garman, our MP and human rights extraordinaire um, coming in at about 10.30, flying and arriving. So I'll go pick her up and yeah, so that'll be us for the day. I don't want to necessarily say that people come into the Young Greens to become a MP, but it's a pathway. What about you? <laughs> um, for me, I'm like a queer Māori disabled person. So that's kind of something that you don't really see in politics, or they don't, um, the people that are, they don't like to kind of use their identities as a political tool. If it was to do it, it'd be only to like show that every single person in this country is capable of being in parliament. Like if there was a need to step up, I probably would for the party, but nothing else. I hate that question. How's life in Wellington? Cold and rainy, and but we did pass the second reading of abortion. I saw the tweets. Yeah. Oh my god, it's actually so cold. Here we are. Look at these greens. Oh my god. This is one of our lovely MPs who's champion of human rights, badass bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> that's, that's, that's quite a good CV. Yeah, that's quite a good CV. I think, good I think that that's your new Instagram bio done. <laughs> Our two main platforms that we campaign on are social justice and environment. And today we're collecting signatures for the youth income plan. And so that includes like safe housing uh, that's warm and dry and has no mold. <laughs> um, make housing affordable, warm, dry, mold free, preferably would be nice. Uh, oh, she's good. <laughs> we want, um, we want. <laughs> she's so on it. Oh, sorry. <laughs>、Oh, yeah. No, I actually、funny. saw a photo from when you came on campus with、oh, Sam Taylor, and we got a photo together.、Yeah. And I was going to just send it to you and be you like, "Good long hair." Yeah. Yes. Was... Thank you all so much. This is amazing. This is the first door knocking event in the country, I believe, for the、Ooh. Green Party. And the first time that we get to talk to voters at the door this year about what they're thinking about the Greens and also about Chloe for, for Auckland Central. Labor have had four goes at this with us running party vote only campaigns against Nikki Kay, and they couldn't win with Jacinda. Uh, so, <laughs>、um, nobody is entitled、uh, to a vote here. We are working very actively to win the trust of Auckland Central voters to represent them. This ruins my outfit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. I was like, don't know if it, I am wearing a green dress. Maybe I take、match. off the jacket. Here we are on Tamaki Makoto campaigning for、oh, door knocking for Kobe's. Oh, there's a Labour chip. We've got Helen White, the、uh, Auckland Central candidate for、um, the Labour Party. So she's out here door knocking today. Oh yeah. Do you want to?、Um... Oh, you're on to it. Look at you. You're like. Sorry, I'm just here. Yeah. Load you up with the pamphlets. Yeah. Voting. Great to see lots of other people out here getting、um, engaging in grassroots level of campaigning.、Um, but we're now just kind of making a decision about how we kind of approach that. All right. We'll give it a couple minutes and then we'll go up because we don't want to. Hey,、uh, how's it going? 
Kia ora. Hi, I'm Matariki and this is Danielle and we're volunteers for the Green Party. Oh, yes. um, we saw that you just got torn yeah, up by this. Yeah. <laughs> well, it must be the day for it, right? Yeah. Would you mind if we asked how likely you are to be voting Green this election? Well, it'll be a toss-up, actually, between yeah. Green and Labour, actually, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> but enjoy your day. OK. Bye. See ya. I think that conversation's going to be quite common. Yeah, I think so too. Oh. I mean, this is my first door knocking experience. I only joined in the middle of last election. Pretty good day, I'd say. I always feel like after I've done like some form of action, whether it's door knocking or calling or even just meeting up with fellow greeny friends, I always have such a like super optimistic um, view and then I kind of have to take myself out of my bubble. So we are on sunny, glorious Waiheke Island. My parents live here, so my dad moved here in the late 80s, early 90s. This is the hippie cooperative um, collective where I grew up. We'd have these big kind of collective meals every couple of weeks or so, and the guitars would be out, and the adults would be having many, many wines, <laughs> and uh, I would usually fall asleep on the couch to the sound of everyone having intense political discussions. Um, actually, I have a tattoo of the, of the that's the pizza oven there. <laughs> um, so I've got a little piece of home wherever I go. Danny, is your, was your upbringing similar at all to this? I must admit, I didn't grow up on a commune, didn't grow up on an island. I'd safely say I was not anywhere near brought up like this. My family's not that political in the... Uh, in the traditional sense. In the traditional sense. Dad's very much into the Māori politics, which is a bit different to mainstream politics, and being on um, hapu and iwi boards and uh, knows his way around an argument, I'd say. Oh, for sure. I think the good thing about growing up in a small community, though, is that, like, everyone knows you, you know, like everyone knows that I was the political kid. Everyone knows that I was like, you know, the advocate kid and the, the like environmentally conscious kid. I learnt the, the numbers of the recyclable plastics before I learnt like any lyrics to any pop songs. Um, <laughs> so, oh. I know, <laughs> so sad oh, and man. geeky. Gotta hide the plastic bag. <laughs> <laughs> You're such that. a fraud. <laughs> Imagine if any, any uh, former or current MPC was like, What's a plastic bag? Like, like, yeah. Absolute phony. Yeah, it's like too left, not left, left enough. enough. <laughs> uh, hippies, unwashed, uh, hairy. Um, but too suited now. Yeah, too, too suited now. The, yeah, it's just like you can't win. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that I really enjoy about um, the Young Greens is that we have that ability to to call out within our own par party and like have that ability to push Kaupapa to, to go further. You know, I look at it more of like holding space for a real marginalised group of people who aren't often seen in politics. And that's our main focus, mm. is to make sure that we're at the table and not being served at the table mm. yeah, as often. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely, I think, um, your role is to is to push push the party as if it becomes too mainstream. I don't ever see myself in Parliament, so, like... <laughs> <laughs> there are other places where you have more freedom to, to um, be vocally radical, which makes change, um, and I don't think that's something that... I personally could could do that well. I don't think I could keep quiet all that well. Maybe that's an even better reason for you to be in there. Oh! When I was a little kid, I used to walk along here and come up to complete strangers and tell them that it was my beach, but I'd let them walk on it. Uh, so clearly feel strong, strong feelings of connection to this little place. How are you feeling? I mean, it's kind of like last year we kind of have one big campaign and like this year it's just another one, but it's just an election riding on it and potentially our friends losing their jobs. Yeah. <laughs> or our friends gaining new jobs. And yeah. it's... Love those stakes.
Are you actually? Yeah. That's you know. embarrassing. I'm your embarrassing, though. <laughs>